taking a leaf out of the books of diabetes and the books of hypertension where we used to think of a diagnosis of diabetes and hypertension only when the person is around 50 or 60 years but gone are the days because we are beginning to see the blood pressure and diabetes at that age of 25 years so something which is related to these issues is this obstructive sleep apnea person having a sleep apnea also has diabetes the diabetes goes out of control person having sleep apnea and hypertension hypertension refuses to get controlled with a simple medication so the important point is to recognize that whether there is a diabetes or whether there is a hypertension if they are not getting under control you have to look for sleep apnea Uh, a person who has obstructive sleep apnea uh, eventually uh, because of the sleep deprivation uh, loses interest in life and because he's most of the times very tired and feeling very sleepy he cuts himself out of the social circle and uh, he loses friends he, and he's very irritable with his colleagues in the office short-tempered and he forgets people, forgets names of the people and there is a lot of disruption of the family. What it does if it is not treated? It can worsen the diabetes and spoil the kidneys and lifelong he would be on a dialysis. Or it can have a middle of the night stroke and his right hand can get paralyzed or he can have the middle of the night or three o'clock or four o'clock early hours of the morning he can have a heart attack call the ambulance and go to the hospital so i remember when i went to my eye doctor he said oh vijay kumar you have to wear glasses you have an eyesight I said first, how many days? He said, days? You have to wear it lifelong. So it was sort of shocking just for the to wear specs all the life. But then surprisingly, we get used to it. You are able to see things better with your specs. So I think very similar thing happens when a patient is advised a CPAP machine. He starts sleeping better. His, day, his daytime quality of life is better and his irritability comes down, his fatigue comes down, his diabetes is better controlled, blood pressure is better controlled. So to think that diabetes and hypertension and heart disease occur only for people who are above the age of 55 would be foolhardy. Similarly, to think that sleep apnea doesn't occur in younger people, again, uh, is fraught with danger. So, regardless of the age, if there are telltale symptoms, I think we should go ahead, investigate, and then make a confirmation of the diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea. Innovation and you. Philips.